Something special lurks under Auckland CBD, but it just needs to be unlocked. It took 114 men just eight months to dig out three and a half kilometres of tunnels as an air raid shelter. But after World War II, they were filled with more than eight million clay blocks to ensure the tunnels wouldn't collapse and then sealed. Bill Reid has dug out a small portion of one of the tunnels and has spent the past three decades trying to convince council to reopen the rest. It's 71 years since the tunnels were closed. It should have been opened years ago. Then wasn't the climate. Now is the tourist climate in New Zealand and Auckland. The tunnels sit under Albert Park. The idea would be to turn the main one running between Victoria Street and Constitution Hill into a cycle and walkway, linking the CBD to Parnell. The Stockholm Metro is being held up as an example of what it could look like, but it wouldn't just be limited to transport. The proposal includes retail spaces, turning the smaller tunnels into wine bars or cheese shops. And perhaps most audaciously, building a glow worm encounter, making it the largest tourist attraction in Auckland. It's predicted to cost up to $20 million, but they're not asking for any ratepayer funding. Instead, they'll get private backers and put an entrance fee on to help recoup costs. Absolutely. They will always own the tunnels, they own the land, they own the park here. Um, we would be looking to lease it from the council, so we would actually be paying a ground lease back to the council for the, the use of this space. This afternoon they presented their case to a council advisory board, which recommended it be fast-tracked to council. For Bill, bringing back to life the city's history and heritage would be reward for a lifetime's work. Tom McRae, News Hub.